So today we start off with first the structure of RNAs and then transcription and translation, the logic of protein synthesis. Let's begin with that. So we have first the structures of the RNA. We analyze everything about the RNA. What is the RNA and what is it made up of and what is its logic? RNAs are of two types, genetic RNA and non-genetic RNA. Genetic RNA acts as the genetic material of some viruses, namely tobacco mosaic virus, QB bacteriophage, HIV virus, hepatitis A virus, and now our very own coronavirus. Coronavirus also has RNA as the genetic material. But the DNA is the genetic material in bacteria and all other living organisms and we have non-genetic RNA, that is non-genetic RNA, which functions for protein synthesis. So our genetic material is the DNA and RNA is helping protein synthesis. What is the RNA made up of? It's made up of a single strand made up of sugar. Which sugar will we have over here? Anybody? Ribose sugar. Ribose sugar. Ribose sugar. And at its second carbon, what do we have instead of hydrogen? OH. OH. Remember that all of you? So that is ribose sugar. Phosphates will be same and phosphorized bonds. But nitrogen bases, you have adenine, guanine, cytosine. And instead of thymine, you have uracil. So, thymine ki jagah uracil hota hai and RNAs mein adenine pairs with uracil by double hydrogen bond or uracil pairs with adenine by double hydrogen bond, guanine pairs with cytosine. So, that is same as in DNA and RNA. So, RNAs have got ribose sugar, RNA has got uracil and RNA is single standard, not double standard. And the purine pyrimidine ratio may or may not be 1 is to 1. DNA Shargaff's rule is always constant. Purine-pyrimidine ratio is always 1 is to 1. But RNA being single standard, purine-pyrimidine ratio may or may not be necessarily 1 is to 1. Three types of RNA, mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. mRNA messenger RNA, rRNA ribosomal RNA, tRNA transfer RNA. First, we have mRNA. mRNA is a single stranded RNA and mRNA is always simple and straight without any folds. mRNA mein folds nahi hote hai. It carries message for protein synthesis from the DNA to the ribosomes. And it is about 3 to 5% of the total cellular RNA. So out of 100 RNAs, minimum RNA, neat point of view, which are the least number of RNAs? mRNAs are the least number of RNAs. Having a molecular weight of 5 lakh Dalton units and two ends, C5N and C3N. So, well, neat point of view, which is the straight RNA without any folds? mRNA. Which RNA is least in number? mRNA. What is the weight of the mRNA? 5 lakh Dalton units. And this mRNA is formed with the help of DNA 
by a process called as transcription. So transcription kya hota hai? Say, this is the beta cell of islets of Langerhans of pancreas. And human DNA segments are called as genes. There are 30,000 genes in the human DNA which was found out by the Human Genome Project which you have done. Human Genome Project proved that there are 30,000 genes. So Samjo, this is the beta cell and gene number. This is gene, this is gene, this is gene. Gene number say 11,111. Hypothetically, gene number 11,111 between the two DNA strands. This was one DNA strand. This is the other DNA strand. Unke beech mein hydrogen bonds break. Hydrogen bonds break between the two DNA strands. With the help of which enzyme? Helicase. 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 I hope you remember. Helicase breaks the hydrogen bonds. And the two DNA strands which are coiled will now uncoil. Two DNA strands will uncoil. Now, all of you said helicase. And no doubt you have lost your mark. This was asked in your neat paper. Which enzyme breaks or uncoils the two, hydrogen, uh, two DNA strands during transcription? Your neat paper. RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase does it. So, uncoiling is done by helicase during DNA replication. During transcription, the RNA polymerase will break the hydrogen bonds and cause uncoiling. Your neat paper, this was asked. And there are two strands. One has got C2 C3 to C5 polarity. And the other has got C3 to C5 polarity downwards. So, one of the strands will participate. The strand having 3 to 5 polarity will participate, which is this strand from 3 to 5 upwards. Leading strand. Leading. No, this is the template. So, which is this strand? Ascending strand. And this is 3 to 5 downward, which is this strand? Descending, descending strand. So, ascending strand ke upar, you will have formation of the mRNA. Now, how will mRNA be formed? Sir, here you have nucleotide, say, guanine, guanine, guanine. Then, here will be formed on mRNA, cytosine, cytosine, cytosine. And then you have TAC, TAC. TAC, thymine adenine cytosine. It will form nucleotide AUG. And AUG is the start codon of any protein. So, TAC TAC is the start codogene. DNA triplet is called codogene. On mRNA, the triplet formed is AUG and AUG is the start codon. Sometimes you have CAC CAC as a start codogy, then it will form GUG as the start codon. So start codon may be AUG if it is TAC as the start codogene, or if CAC is the start codogene, it will form GUG as the start codon. Now, next triplet is red. What is the triplet called? Codogene. And on the mRNA, a complementary triplet is formed. Say so here it is cytosine, cytosine, cytosine. Then what will be the codon form? Guanine, guanine, guanine. 
समझो यर इट इज फॉर्म वन थाउजेंड कोडॉन्स थाउजेंड कोडोचीन फॉर्म थाउजेंड कोडॉन्स देन कम्स अ स्टॉप कोडोजी स्टॉप कोडोजी ए टी टी विच विल फॉर्म स्टॉप कोडॉन यू ए ए और यू हैव ए टी सी विच विल फॉर्म यू ए जी और यू हैव सी you have act which will form uga so which are the stop codons uaa or you have uag or you have uga any of these three are called as stop codon so start codon kaun sa hai aug or gug then you have how many codons about 1000 codons You remember in human genome project, a gene is approximately three thousand base pairs. Three thousand base pairs. So how many codons divided by three? That is thousand codons. And then you will have stop codon genes U A A or U A G or U G A. And these will be the different kinds of codons and start codon then 1000 codon and stop codon and what is this structure form called as the mrna mrna kaun sa direction mein banega c5 end to c3 end if you remember it will be anti parallel to template template is 3 end to 5 end so mrna will be from 5 end to 3 end and this mrna is formed by the process called transcription it goes out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm ye hai nucleus aur nucleus se mrna is formed by transcription it goes from nucleus into cytoplasm goes towards endoplasmic reticulum and mrna fits into a ribosome mrna jo ke ribosome ke andar fit ho jata hai so this is mrna being formed by transcription goes from transcription into nucleus into cytoplasm and fits into a ribosome this is mrna formed by transcription now what will each codon code for each codon specifies a particular amino acid start codon aug specifies methionine or f methionine in eukaryotes as multicellular it will form methionine in prokaryotes bacteria it will attract formylated methionine or f methionine so start codon aug is for methionine or f methionine ggg specifies glycine uuu specifies phenylalanine ccc specifies proline aur aise alag alag sequence ke amino acids bante hain so sir we will just do the genetic coding dictionary <coughs> this is your coding dictionary Uh, what is UUU specifying? Phenylalanine. Similarly, UUC also specifies phenylalanine. Similarly, I had said GGG specifies glycine, AUG specifies methionine, CCC specifies proline. So total, UUU, UUC both specify phenylalanine. 
UUA, UUG, CUU, CUC, CUA, CUG, all specify leucine. And then AUA, AUU, AUC specify isoleucine. AUA also specifies isoleucine. AUG specifies methionine. Similarly, GU, G, GU series specifies valine. UC series specifies serine. As a matter of fact, AG series also specifies serine. CC series specifies proline. AC series specifies threonine. GC species alanine. AU, U, A, UAU, UAC specifies tyrosine. UAA and UAG are stop codons. Don't specify anything. CAU, CAC specify histamine. CAA, CAG specify glycine. AAU, AAC specify aspartine. AAA, AAG specify lysine. GAU, GAC specify aspartic acid. GAA, GAG specify glutamine. UGU, UGC specify cysteine. UGA is a stop codon. UGG specifies tryptophan. CG series specifies arginine. AG species also arginine. And GG species glycine. So, how many amino acids are there? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Serine, serine. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Same hai, arginine and 20. So, 20 types of amino acids are specified by codons. Now, I'll teach you that, but how many codons are there totally? Total kit there, codons kit there, okay? 64 codons. 64 codons. There are 64 possible codons. Of which three of them are stop codons. So 61 codons we have for coding. So 61 codons code for 20 amino acids. 61 codons code for 20 amino acids. And this is the way amino acids are formed. Now, uh, this is MRN. Uh, sir. Yeah, beta. Uh, sir, ek doubt tha. Sir, the start codon in prokaryotes is formulated methionine. Okay. So, after formulated methionine, baki sab methionine hai aayege na? Nahi, beta. All will be formulated methionines. Like, all will be formulated? No. All are formulated methionine. Because there is, methionine is not stable in prokaryotes. It has to be formulated. Okay. And in eukaryotes, it's all methionine. Always methionine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Correct. Then we have uh, so that is mRNA and stop codons don't code for any amino acid and check this here uh, then we have rRNA or ribosomal RNA rRNA is having C5 and C3 and or C3 and C5 and and it is not linear it is having many folds in it so RRNA folded hota hai. RRNA is in the form of folds. And unlike mRNA, RRNA mein folded or coiled area hota hai, jis mein base pairing hota hai. Who will pair with who? Guanine pairs with cytosine. Cytosine pairs with UNI. Adenine will pair with uracil. And uracil will pair with adenine. So ye paired coiled regions hota hai. That is folded. That is RRNA. RRNA is single standard which is folded. Folded regions show pairing between complementary bases. And what is the RRNA going to do? RRNAs combine together to form smaller subunit and larger subunit. So RRNA say smaller subunit and larger subunit bante hai in other words, RRNAs form ribosomes. RRNAs form ribosomes. Hence, they are called as RRNAs 
और राइबोसोमल आरएनए सो एमआरएनए का फंक्शन क्या था टू ब्रिंग द सीक्वेंस ऑफ कोडॉन्स व्हिच विल स्पेसिफाई स्पेसिफिक अमाइनो एसिड व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ आरआरएनए आरआरएनए हैज नो फंक्शन इन प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस पर से इट फॉर्म स्मॉलर सब यूनिट and larger sub unit to form units which are called as ribosomes so rrna is form ribosome so tell me what will be the percentage of total rna kam hoga ya zyada 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 because zyada. ribosomes kyunki so, ribosome is a big structure aur ek cell mein bahut sare rough endoplasmic reticulum hote hain har ek rough endoplasmic reticulum pe bahut zyada ribosomes hote hain so बहुत ज्यादा राइबोसोम्स मींस लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ आरआरएनए एंड 80% ऑफ द टोटल सेलुलर आरएनए आर आरआरएनए 80% ऑफ द टोटल सेलुलर आरएनए आर आरआरएनए हैविंग अ मॉलिक्यूलर वेट ऑफ 40000 टू 100000 डाल्टन यूरेट्स एंड इट प्रोवाइड्स बाइंडिंग साइट फॉर एमआरएनए एंड ओरियंस एमआरएनए in such a way that all codons are red and in a ribosome there are two subunits there are two subunits in the smaller subunit which is above fits in the mrna mrna fits into the smaller subunit and in the larger subunit will fit the trnas लार्जर सब यूनिट में फिट होंगे टी आर एन एस स्मॉलर सब यूनिट इज फॉर एम आर एन ए लार्जर सब यूनिट इज फॉर टी आर एन एस एंड टी आर एन एस कैरी विद अमाइनो एसिड फ्रॉम द अमाइनो एसिड पूल तो इन द साइटोप्लाज इज एन अमाइनो एसिड पूल विच हैज ट्वेंटी टाइप्स ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड्स एंड अ टी आर एन ए picks up an amino acid and goes and fits into the larger subunit so larger subunit mein trna ja ke fit ho jata hai so what is smaller subunit for mrna what is larger subunit for trnas and there are codons here in the mrna and yahan you have trna in the larger subunit now that is the function of the rrna then you have trna which is a single stranded structure 10 to 15% so mrna kitna ho gaya 5% rrna kitna ho gaya 80% so trna is kitna ho jayega 15% so sabse zyada kiska number hai rrna rrna sabse kam kiska number hai mrna mrna and trnas are the smallest of all the rnas containing only 73 to 93 nucleotides sabse chhota kaun sa rna hai trna having 73 to 93 nucleotides with a molecular weight of about 23000 to 30000 daltons if you remember mrna was 5 lakh daltons rrnas are 40000 to 1 lakh daltons and trnas are 23000 to 30000 daltons and trnas form two types of rna something called as the hairpin model and something called as the clover leaf model so two model hai hairpin model and clover leaf model the hairpin model has trna completely folded like this and it has got two ends c5 end and c3 end at the c5 end is present guanine c5 end pe guanine hota hai c3 end pe c c a cytosine cytosine adenine c5 end has got u9 and c3 end has got c c a cytosine cytosine adenine it is the c c a which gets amino acid attached to it 
तो अमाइनो एसिड अटैचेस टू द सीसीए अमाइनो एसिड अटैचेस टू द सीसीए एंड तो कौन से एंड पे अमाइनो एसिड अटैच होता है C3 एंड पे अमाइनो एसिड अटैच होता है टू द सीसीए एंड देयर इज पेयरिंग एवरीवेयर आर्डेनाइन पेयर्स विद यूरासिल यूरासिल पेयर्स विद आर्डेनाइन यूएनाइन पेयर विद साइटोसिन साइटोसिन विद यूएनाइन आर्डेनाइन विद यूरासिल यूरासिल विद आर्डेनाइन यूएनाइन विद साइटोसिन एंड एट द ऑपोजिट एंड ऑफ द C3 एंड इज अ ट्रिपलेट ऑफ अनपेयर्ड नाइट्रोजन बेसिस which is called as the anticodon and this i'm sure you all know anticodon is complementary to the codon so anticodon will go and pair with the codon so ye hai aapka trna and samjho this is start codon a u g then from the amino acid pool which amino acid will get transferred by trna For a U G which amino acid? Methionine. Methionine. And this T R N A will fit into the larger subunit and pair with the codon. So what will be the triplet of anticodon here? If start codon is a U G, what will be start anticodon? U A C. U A C. U A C. अगर यहां यू हैव ए यू जी देन एंटीकोडॉन विल बी यू ए सी ए विल पेयर विथ यू यू विल पेयर विथ ए जी विल पेयर विथ सी सो गोल्डन रूल चाहे कोई भी प्रोटीन हो स्टार्ट कोडॉन इज ऑलवेज ए यू जी स्टार्ट टी आर एन ए एंटीकोडॉन इज ऑलवेज यू ए सी and start amino acid first amino acid is always methionine any protein this is the golden rule all of you clear and this is your model called as the hairpin model then you have something called clover leaf model clover leaf model has got c5 end c3 end c3 end has got cca c5 end has got uni attached to the cca is the amino acid amino acid attaches to the cca and it has got two arms namely the t psi c arm and the dhu arm and beech mein hai ek variable arm or the lump and an anticodon arm so how many arms are present you have amino acid arm you have t psi c arm you have dhu arm you have variable arm and you have anticodon arm there are five arms five arms are there at the amino acid arm is the amino acid attached to it the variable arm is vestigial it has no function in the anticodon arm is an anticodon which will pair with the codon and you have t psi c and dhu what will dhu do it will recognize mera wala amino acid mera wala amino acid and t psi c will recognize mera wala ribosome mera wala ribosome so suppose here you have amino acid pool and here you have start codon a u g then this t r n a with d h u this t r n a with d h u t c i c anti codon arm will recognize amino acid and if start codon is a u g anti codon with u a c will go and pick up methionine who will help in recognizing for uac wala trna who will help in recognizing ye hai mera wala amino acid methionine it is recognized by the dhu arm dhu arm recognizes ki i have to pick up methionine i have to pick up methionine that is done by dhu arm and 
will recognize miravala amino acid methionine then the so who will pick up the amino acid amino acid is picked up by cc amino acid arm um, um, amino acid arm um, cca cca of the c3 end will pick up amino acid methionine it will pick up amino acid methionine and who will recognize ke itne sare ribosomes mein mera wala ribosome ye hai ye wala nahi hai it is recognized by the t cici arm t cici arm recognizes mera wala ribosome so who recognizes mera wala amino acid dhu dhu loop dhu who picks up the amino acid ccr and the c3 end or the cca and who recognizes mera wala ribosome ye wala nahi hai ye wala पर ये वाला मेरा वाला राइबोसोम है मेरा वाला राइबोसोम तो दीज आर योर थ्री आर एन एस एम आर एन एर आर एन एंड टी आर एन चलो नाउ दट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द आर एन एस वॉट इज कोडोजीन कोडॉन एंड एंटी कोडॉन कोडोजीन इज द स्मॉलेस्ट ट्रिपलेट ऑफ सीक्वेंस इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द डीएनए codon is the smallest sequence of triplets present on the mrna and triplet of nucleotides present on the trna which is complementary to codon is the anti codon so samjho dna has got ggg then what will mrna have ccc ccc if mrna has ccc what will trna anti codon have जी 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 � एंटीकोडॉन विल बी जी 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 हा या ना ऑल ऑफ यू यस सर तो कोडोजीन इज जी 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 कोडॉन इज सी 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 एंटीकोडॉन इज जी 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 सो कोडोजीन इज प्लस कोडॉन इज माइनस एंटीकोडॉन इज अगेन प्लस In other word, codogen and anticodon are one and the same. Plus ka plus ban gaya. So codogen is complementary to codon. Codon is complementary to anticodon, which means codogen and anticodon are the same, except that thymine is replaced by uracil. So, sir, your codogen is TTT. What will be anticodon? Oh, sorry, codon. A A A A A A A A A. And what will be anticodon? U U U U U U U U U. So T T T T is replaced by U U U. T T T is replaced by U U U. So codogen G G G C C C, and again G G G. तो योर कोडोजीन एंड को एंटीकोडॉन आर सेम बट यहां कोडोजीन वो सीटीटी यहां एंटीकोडॉन इज यू 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 आर यू क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू दैट थाइमीन इज रिप्लेस बाय यूरासेल तो समझो कोडोजीन इज जी ए जी जी ए जी व्हाट विल बी कोडॉन और आई वुड से टी ए सी Tac. What will be codon? This is codogen. Sir, uh, sir, वो थोड़ा आगे का repeat करना है ना. There was a lag, so you, yes, your, sir. your side was lagging वालों. Okay. Ta G से पहले वाला बस. ये कौन सा मेरा? अच्छा codogen is G G G. Codon will be C C C. 
antikodon will be ggg so codogen and antikodon are same but if codogen is ttt codon will be aaa then antikodon will be uuu so thymine is always replaced by uracil to agar ggg rahega codon to mrna codo gene is ggg so codon will be ccc and anticodon will be ggg so codo gene plus codon minus anticodon plus so codo gene and anticodon are one and the same so codo gene and anticodon are one and the same but if codo gene is ttt then the codon will be aaa and anticodon will be uuu so thymine is replaced by uracil now i'm saying if codo gene is tac then what will be codon aug 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 and what will be anticodon uac 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 do you remember codo gene and anticodon are same ac ac but thymine is replaced by uracil thymine is replaced by uracil so always tac ki jagah aa jayega uac ac same hai lekin thymine is replaced by uracil so ye anyway yaad rakhna hai which is the start codogen always start codogen is tac which is always start codon aug aug i will just start anticodon uac uac and which is the first amino acid methionine methionine so yaad rakhna start codogen is tac start codon is aug start anticodon is uac and start amino acid is methionine methionine is a start amino acid and tRNA is also called soluble RNA tRNA is not removed by centrifugation if you do centrifugation then dna sabse heavy settles down at the bottom mrna is the heaviest of all the three rnas with phylac dalton units is higher uske upar aayega rrna with 1 lakh dalton units and trn is only 23000 dalton units wo centrifugation se separate nahi hota hai so trna cannot be isolated it is always dissolved in the cytoplasm so it is called soluble rna because it is always dissolved in cytoplasm it is called soluble rna and trna is also called as the adapter molecule trna is also called adapter molecule it reads the codon and it brings the amino acid it reads the codon and brings the amino acid so language of codon is converted into language of amino acid language of codon is converted into language of amino acid and who is the person in doing this trna trna converts language of codon into language of amino acid so it is the adapter samjho you convert alternating current to direct current what is ac to dc current done by adapter physics mein padha hai adapter converts ac to dc similarly language of codon is converted to language of amino acid so we are always doing adaptation so trna is called the adapter molecule trna is called adapter molecule and actual structure trna is a compact molecule which looks like an inverted l so trna aisa dikhta hai microscope ke niche aisa dikhta hai inverted l dikhta hai that is the structure of a trna ha huh? have you understood this all of you fine then we go into the actual process of protein synthesis
the central dogma of protein synthesis states that dna forms mrna by transcription and mrna forms protein by translation so dna forms mrna by transcription mrna forms protein by translation this was proposed by crick crick had proposed that dna determines the sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide chain through mrna dna ke andar sequence hai codons codogenes ka dna ke andar sequence hai codogenes ka usse banega sequence of codon by transcription and sequence of codons will determine sequence of amino acids sequence of amino acids so what is dna forming mrna called as transcription what is mrna forming protein called as translation and this is the central theme of protein synthesis was given by crick now how will it take place transcription transcription is the formation of mrna on dna it takes place with the help of dna dependent rna polymerase dna dependent rna polymerase and uh, in this process dna is copied into rna dna is copied into rna and we will just do this part uh, i just will need about a 3 4 minute break and then we will go into this part okay so we will analyze transcription and translation cha just give you a break yeah so dna has polarity 3 to 5 the other strand has polarity 5 to 3 if we have g g g or then we will have c c c or and this is broken by rna polymerase then is formed mrna in the 5 to 3 polarity of the ascending strand so mrna will have c c c so dna has g g g other strand is c c c mrna has c c c so mrna and the other strand having polarity 5 to 3 are identical similarly if here we have c c c as the codogene then the other strand has g g g and mrna will have g g g so what is the other strand having g g g what is the mrna having g g g so the non template strand having c c c mrna c c c on the non template strand g g g on the mrna g g g on the non template strand so the other strand is making sense to the mrna and is called as the sense strand also called as the coding strand because the same nucleotide sequence as the mrna and the template is complementary to mrna g g g c c c or c c c g g g so template is complementary to mrna so it is called anti sense aur ye diya hai ncert mein have you understood this ki yahan hai ggg yahan hai ggg to yahan hai ccc on the other strand and it is broken by rna polymerase now is formed mrna if this is ggg mrna has ccc other strand also has ccc so mrna and the other strand are genetically the same similarly if the codogene is ccc then the other strand is having ggg and mrna is ggg so the other strand and the mrna are genetically the same so the other strand is called sense strand or coding strand and the template is called as the 
anti sense time have you understood this all of you so which is identical if the sense if the template is plus then the other strand is minus mrna is also minus so mrna and the other strand both are minus minus means they are the same and the template plus is complementary to the other strand also and complementary to mrna also so the template is the anti sense strand and the other strand is the sense strand or the coding strand have you understood this all of you and on the other strand or coding strand from c5 upwards is present a gene called as the promoter gene c5 upward is a gene called promoter gene from the c3 end there is a gene downstream which is called as the terminator gene and promoter gene or terminator gene ke beech mein yahan but on the sen strand is the tac tac start codo gene G G G codogen, C C C codogen, A A A codogen, A C T stop codogen. So, ये हो गया structural gene. ये हो गया structural gene. तो आपने बताया था total कितने genes होते हैं? Promoter gene, structural gene and terminator gene. Three genes are there. Where is the promoter gene? C five upstream. Where is the terminator gene? C3 downstream. C5 upstream is the promoter. C3 downstream is the terminator. On the coding or the send strand, and on the template strand is the structural gene. Is the structural gene. And this part, बहुत ध्यान से सुनना ये नीट में बहुत बार पूछते हैं. So this is the promoter gene. This is the terminator gene, and this is the structural gene. promoter terminator structural and then we have the entire logic so if it is a eukaryotic dna then our genes are monocystronic and they are split genes what do you mean by split genes there are segments of dna which have codo genes forming codons which are called exons and there are segments of dna which do not have codo genes and no codons and these are called silent dna mrna also called introns so now check this here this is c3 end this is c5 end and here we have start codo gene tac start codo gene tac then on the mrna you have start codon aug then we have codo gene ggg then we have codon ccc then we have codo gene ccc then we have codon ggg then you have codo gene aaa then you have codon uuu now this is codo gene codon codo gene codon codo gene codon codo gene codon but then comes one segment of dna which has nucleotides which don't make any sense these nucleotides don't make any sense and it forms mrna which makes no sense and the segment which has codons is called as exon but the segment of dna and mrna which have no function to perform is called as intron so ye intron hai then again you have ggg codogen ccc codon and then you have atc codogen and uag stop codon so this is again making sense and is called exon so segments which make sense and participate in translation are called as exons so ye hai exon ye hai exon 
और बीच में है सेगमेंट ऑफ डीएनए व्हिच फॉर्म सेगमेंट ऑफ एमआरएनए व्हिच विल नॉट बी ऑफ एनी यूज इट हैज नो यूज एंड इज कॉल्ड एज इंट्रॉन सो दिस इज इंट्रॉन सो व्हाट डज आर डीएनए हैव एक्सॉन इंट्रॉन एक्सॉन इंट्रॉन एक्सॉन इंट्रॉन सो it is not a straight mrna it has got exons and introns and that is called split gene that is called split gene by the way you had tac start codo gene and atc stop codo gene forming aug start codon and uag stop codon to ye start codon aur stop codon ke beech mein exon in exon intron intron exon exon iske baad kya banega one mrna which codes for one protein one mrna which codes for one protein so our dna is called as monocystronic our dna is called monocystronic and split in stark contrast to eukaryotic dna Prokaryotic DNA is polycystronic, and it has got TAC start codon gene, AUG start codon, and then you have codon genes and you have codons, and then you have ATC stop codon gene and you have UAG stop codon. So, is me exon intron hai hi nahi? It is a only exon only useful no intron introns hai hi nahi and ek start stop codon gene ke baad wapas se you have tac and wapas se you have aug and wapas you have codon genes wapas you have codons and wapas you have stop codon gene atc and stop codon uag to ye aa gaya start codon ये आ गया कोडॉन ये आ गया स्टॉप कोडॉन तो ये एक जीन हो गया वापस आ गया स्टार्ट कोडॉन वापस आ गया कोडॉन वापस आ गया स्टॉप कोडॉन तो दिस विल फॉर्म वन प्रोटीन स्टार्ट टू स्टॉप एक प्रोटीन बनेगा सेम एमआरएनए में स्टार्ट टू स्टॉप दूसरा प्रोटीन बनेगा तो एक ही एमआरएनए से दो दो प्रोटीन बनते हैं एक एमआरएनए से दो प्रोटीन बन रहा है यू कैरियोटिक में यू हैड स्टार्ट कोडॉन 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 इंट्रॉन कोडॉन 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 एंड एक्सॉन एंड स्टॉप कोडो जीन स्टॉप कोडॉन तो इससे एक तो जीन स्प्लिट था और एक एमआरएनए से एक ही प्रोटीन बनता है व्हिच इज स्प्लिट एंड मोनोसिस्ट्रॉनिक बैक्टीरिया में स्प्लिट है ही नहीं बैक्टीरिया में देर आर नो इंट्रॉन्स देर आर ओनली एक्सॉन्स एंड वन एम आर एन एट कोडॉन स्टॉप कोडॉन स्टार्ट कोडॉन स्टॉप कोडॉन सो वन एम आर एन ए विल फॉर्म मल्टीपल प्रोटीन वन एम आर एन ए विल फॉर्म मल्टीपल प्रोटीन इन अदर वर्ड इट इज पॉलिसेस्ट्रॉनिक इट इज पॉलिसेस्ट्रॉनिक are you clear all of you and how does the process of translation take place now check this here ye hai c5 end aur yahan kaun sa gene tha if you remember promoter gene promoter gene and c3 end pe kaun sa gene hai terminator gene terminator gene and tem template ke upar c3 end to c5 end start to stop codo gene is the structural gene to ye kaun sa gene ho gaya promoter gene ye c3 pe kaun sa ho gaya terminator gene and template pe kaun sa ho gaya structural gene now on the promoter gene is a specific sequence tata thymine adenine thymine adenine which is called tata box टाटा बॉक्स के ऊपर आके चिपक जाता है 
RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase enzyme sticks to the Tata box and to the Tata box gets attached and factor called as sigma factor. Sigma factor comes and gets attached to RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase ko sigma factor aake attach ho jata hai. Sigma factor. And sigma factor picks up the RNA polymerase. Sigma factor picks up the RNA polymerase and brings it to the start codon. Start codogene. And start codogene TAC will transcribe. Transcription will take place and form AUG, which is start codon. And then AAA, and this will form UUU, which is the second codon. GGG, and then CCC, which is the third codon. And codogene codon, codogene codon, codogene codon, till ATC comes in a sequence. It forms UAG, which is the stop codon. So, here transcription hua. Which enzyme helped in transcription? RNA polymerase. Or, jaysay transcription khatam hota hai, from the C3 polarity downwards, which we remember is the terminator gene. <coughs> there is a factor called as rho factor. Rho factor brings back the RNA polymerase. So, RNA polymerase ko Tata box se leke kaun gaya tha? Who took RNA polymerase towards structural gene? Sigma factor. Sigma factor. Who did transcription RNA polymerase with sigma factor? Did transcription. After transcription was over, who bought back the RNA polymerase? Rho factor. Rho factor. So, from the promoter gene, RNA polymerase. From the promoter gene, RNA polymerase is taken up by the sigma factor. Then polymerization takes place. After polymerization is over, it is brought back to the terminator gene by the rho factor. And that is the way transcription will take place. So, promoter gene se RNA polymerase ko structural gene ki taraf leke kaun jata hai? Sigma factor. Who will do entire transcription sigma factor with the RNA polymerase? And who will bring back the RNA polymerase? Rho factor. From the terminator gene. Are we clear with that, all of you? And then we have the transcription of eukaryotes. In eukaryotes, there are three types of RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase ke three type hote hai. RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 2, and RNA polymerase 3. RNA polymerase 1 is for formation of rRNA. RNA polymerase 3 is for formation of tRNA and snRNA. And RNA polymerase 2 is for the synthesis of precursor of mRNA called heterogeneous nuclear RNA. Heterogeneous nuclear RNA. If you remember, I have already in eukaryotic DNA, in eukaryotic DNA, we have C5 and we have C3N of the mRNA. It has got exon. Then it has got intron. It has got exon. It has got intron. If you remember, it's a split gene. So, ye jo RNA bana hai, this is not mRNA. This is HNRNA. HNRNA, heterogeneous nuclear RNA. Heterogeneous nuclear RNA which has got exons and introns. This may exons and introns. Hai. It is called heterogeneous nuclear RNA, HNRNA. And this HNRNA 
was made with the help of RNA polymerase two, and hrRNA will undergo processing to form mRNA. mRNA का further processing is done by hrRNA. Uh, uh, sorry, by further processing of hrRNA is made mRNA. So who makes rRNA? RNA polymerase one. Who makes tRNA and snRNA? RNA polymerase three, and who makes hnRNA, heterogeneous nuclear RNA, RNA polymerase two? What will hnRNA undergo further processing to form mRNA? hnRNA will undergo processing to form mRNA. How? In eukaryotes, the RNA is non-functional when it is formed and undergoes capping. Splicing and tailing to become functional. So, three processing: capping, splicing, and tailing. So, it will become functional. What is capping? Capping is the addition of an unusual nucleotide, methyl guanosine triphosphate, at the C5 end of hnRNA. Methyl guanosine triphosphate ka a capping kiya jata hai. So, ye hai. hnRNA what is hnRNA having exon yellow and introns red to ye yellow wala kon hai exon aur ye red wala kon hai intron and what is this rna called as hnRNA this rna is called hnRNA uske C5 एंड पे एक कैप डाली जाती है एंड दैट कैप इज कॉल्ड एज मिथाइल ग्यूएनोसेंट ट्राइफॉस्फेट कैप मिथाइल ग्यूएनोसेंट ट्राइफॉस्फेट का कैप मिथाइल ग्यूएनोसेंट ट्राइफॉस्फेट इज एडेड टू द C5 एंड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड कैप कैपिंग एंड एट द C3 एंड आर एडेड किसका किया जाता है मिथाइल ग्यूनोसेंट ट्राइफॉस्पेट का टेलिंग किसका किया जाता है पॉली आर्डिनाइल एट आर्डिनाइन 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 का टेल All of you able to hear me? Yeah, there is an yes, internet so issue. Yes, sir. Now we today. can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So a capping is done, which is called methyl guanosine triphosphate cap, and the tailing is done, which is adenine, 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 a polyadenylate tail. And then, do we remember there is an RNA formed by RNA polymerase called snRNA? small nuclear rna small nuclear rna undergoes translation translation to form an enzyme called as spliceosome enzyme kaun sa enzyme spliceosome enzyme and spliceosome enzyme will go and remove All the introns, all introns are removed by spliceosome enzyme, and spliceosome removes the intron. Once the introns are removed, beach me kya reh jayega? Introns are the unwanted, use, useless segments. So now you have only yellow, useful segments called exons. Introns are nikal gaye. and all exons are stuck to each other and now we have got a fully functional rna called as mrna so heterogeneous nuclear rna ka humne teen cheez kiya uske c5 end pe cap dal diya methyl guanosine triphosphate ka uske c3 end pe We added adenine, 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 two hundred to three hundred 
टू थ्री हंड्रेड एडिनाइन दैट इज कॉल्ड पॉली एडिनाइलेशन ये टेलिंग किया दैट इज पॉली टेल एंड स्प्लाइसियोसोम एंजाइम की मदद से वी रिमूव ऑल द इंट्रॉन्स एंड वी स्टक ऑल द एग्जॉम्स टू इच अदर एंड नाउ with a methyl guanosine triphosphate cap with a polyadenylate tail and all exons stuck to each other the hn rna has now become by capping tailing and splicing a fully functional rna which is now called as the mrna samajh aaya all of you everybody so this is the process of transcription given in tremendous detail in the ncert to ye maine jo sikhaya hai bahut dhyan se yaad rakhna is pe neat ka ek question aane ka chance bahut high hai protein synthesis is one of the favorite favorite logics and then we have the process of translation translation mein kya hota hai sequence of codons on the mrna is read or decoded and the sequence of amino acids are joined to form a polypeptide chain that makes a protein now check this carefully sir so, in the presence of an enzyme called amino acid trna synthetase the amino acid aa is activated and each amino acid is attached to a specific trna at the c3 end to form amino acid trna complex now what do you mean by this so ye tha aapka dna aur dna mein ek segment ka transcription hua gene number 11111 in the beta cell has undergone transcription to form mrna and mrna has entered into the ribosome mrna ribosome mein chala gaya hai into the unit called the smaller sub unit which unit smaller sub unit larger sub unit hai hi nahi there is no larger sub unit so mrna goes and fits into the smaller sub unit only there is no larger sub unit and you have utr an untranslated region utr that is an untranslated region which comes before start codon aug start codon aug ke pehle ek untranslated region hota hai called the utr which has no meaning एंड देन एयू जी आता है एंड देन से जी 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 आता है नाउ द एंजाइम कॉल्ड अमीनो एसिड टी आर एन ए सिंथेटिज एंजाइम अमीनो एसिड टी आर एन ए सिंथेटिज एंजाइम विल रीड यूटीआर विल रीड यूटीआर बट अन ट्रांसलेटेड रीजन डज नॉट अंडर गो ट्रांसलेशन तो यूटीआर का पढ़ के कोई मीनिंग नहीं है now it will read aug do we remember aug is the start codon so you can see start codon and now as so as your rna series is enzyme will read the start codon and bring the message to the amino acid pool हेलो या आई थिंक इज बेटर नाउ या ओके सो एयू जी इज रेड बाय अमीनो एसिड टी आर एन ए सिंथेटिस and a message goes in the amino acid pool for aug which amino acid will get activated methionine 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 and methionine will go and get attached to the trna 
methionine or if it's a prokaryot f methionine gets attached to a trna having a complementary anticodon uac agar codon hai aug anticodon is uac and it attaches to the trna this is called as an amino acid trna complex ise kya kehte hain amino acid trna complex and this amino acid trna complex goes and gets attached to the start codon ab ye bahut dhyan se sunna beautiful process ha to start codon aug start anticodon uac au ke beech mein double hydrogen bond ua ke beech mein double hydrogen bond guanine cytosine ke beech mein triple hydrogen bond and first codon goes and attaches to the first anticodon and the first amino acid methionine is delivered methionine ke aa jaane ke baad smaller sub unit ke baju mein aayega larger sub unit to smaller sub unit ke baad larger sub unit after delivery of methionine पहले स्मलाजर सब यूनिट था ही नहीं पहले था ही नहीं पहले सिर्फ स्मॉलर सब यूनिट था एंड नाउ आफ्टर एयूजी इज रेड आफ्टर फर्स्ट टी आर एन ए ब्रिंग मिथ्योनी नाउ इज फॉर्म लार्जर सब यूनिट अब लार्जर सब यूनिट बनता है एंड दिस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लार्जर सब यूनिट यूज इज GTP for binding, uanosine triphosphate. Do you remember respiration chapter we had done? Succinyl coenzyme A to succinic acid form GTP, and GTP is used in protein synthesis. In which step? In the attachment of the larger subunit to the smaller subunit is formed the. Larger subunit is used the GTP. GTP is also used. Hota hai. And dhyan se smaller subunit na compact hota hai, made of RRNA. But larger subunit is relatively empty. Larger subunit khali hota hai. So something like a diamond ring. Upper ek diamond hai. और नीचे एक रिंग है गोल्ड की जिसके अंदर आपकी उंगली जा सकती है तो व्हाट इज द डायमंड लार्जर सब यूनिट सॉरी स्मॉलर सब यूनिट डायमंड इज द स्मॉलर सब यूनिट एंड व्हाट इज द गोल्ड रिंग गोल्ड रिंग इज द लार्जर सब यूनिट एंड जैसे ही स्टार्ट कोडॉन एयूजी को स्टार्ट एंटीकोडॉन यूएसी मिल जाता है ना तो it will now have larger sub unit form aur usme teen sites ban jate hain three sites a site called e site or exit site a site called p site or peptidyl site and a site called a site amino acyl site so once again kon kon se site bane e site P site and A site. By the way, ये hypothetical sites है क्योंकि larger subunit basically तो खाली है, so it is just hypothetical. तो समझो आपके building के compound पे आपने car number डाल के रखा है, building के compound पे car number and road के ऊपर आपने squares बना paint कर दिए हैं. तो जो बिल्डिंग के कंपाउंड पे नंबर लिखा है उसकी करस्पॉन्डिंग कार उधर आ सकती है कंपाउंड पे जो नंबर है वही कार वहां पार्क हो सकती है तो रस्ते के ऊपर पार्किंग स्पॉट्स है तो बिल्डिंग का कंपाउंड कौन है बिल्डिंग का कंपाउंड है एमआरएनए बिल्डिंग का कंपाउंड है एमआरएनए उसके ऊपर जो कार नंबर लिखा है आर कोडॉक्स 
और रस्ते पे जो पेंट किया है पार्किंग स्पेस आर द थ्री साइट ई साइट पी साइट एंड ए साइट आर द थ्री एम टी पार्किंग स्पेस ई साइट पी साइट एंड ए साइट नाउ विच ऑफ द स्टार्ट कोड ऑन ए यू जी विच इज द फर्स्ट अमीनो एसिड क्या and start anti codon uac which will bring first amino acid methionine and then is form larger sub unit it will occupy the p site it will occupy the p site so kaun sa site occupy ho raha hai p site or peptidyl site and then we have you remember here there was utr untranslated region untranslated region us it corresponds to e site it corresponds to e site and you have second codon say ggg it corresponds to a site it corresponds to a site so what will utr correspond to e site e site e site What will AUG first codon correspond to? P side. P side. What will GGG second codon correspond to? Amino acid. A side. A side. Amino acid side. Now, first codon and anti codon have occupied the P side. Now the second codon is red. Second codon is red. Some do second codon is GGG. Second codon is GGG. Which enzyme will read it? If you remember, amino acid tRNA synthetase reads it. Amino acid tRNA synthetase reads it. Where does GGG message go into amino acid pool? Amino acid pool, and it picks up a tRNA having complementary anticodon and amino acid for GGG. Which amino acid? फिर हम अब जीजीजी के लिए मैंने बताया था ग्लाइसिन ग्लाइसिन जीजीजी के लिए ग्लाइसिन सो नाउ सी 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 पेयर्स विद जीजीजी थ्री बॉन्ड्स थ्री बॉन्ड्स थ्री बॉन्ड जीसी ट्रिपलेट जीसी ट्रिपलेट जीसी ट्रिपलेट एंड टीआरएनए नाउ हैज गॉट सेकंड अमाइनो एसिड ग्लाइसिन ग्लाइसिन आ गया विद साइट The tRNA enters A side. A side. A side. A side. So now UTR corresponds to which side? P side. P side. P side. First codon corresponds to which? P side. P side. Second codon corresponds to which? A side. A side. A side. And we have amino acid number one, methionine. Amino acid number two, glycine. Glycine, and now a enzyme hota hai called as peptidyl transferase enzyme. An enzyme called peptidyl transferase enzyme transfers the amino acid methionine from P site to the A site. So amino acid gets transferred from the P site to the A site. तो पी साइड से अमीनो एसिड निकल के ए साइड पे आ जाता है एंड उनके बीच में बन जाता है पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड तो नाउ व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट इन ए साइड ए साइड हैज गॉट टीआरएनए विथ टू अमीनो एसिड्स ग्लाइसिन पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड मिथियोनिन अमीनो एसिड टू पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड अमीनो एसिड वन Amino acid two, peptide bond amino acid one. I will understood this. So 
What is UTR corresponding to? E side. E side. E side. E side. What does AUG start codon corresponding to? P side. P side. Does P side have amino acid? No. It has transferred right with. That amino acid got transferred to A side. That amino acid got transferred from P side to A side. So, P site has got only tRNA. P site has got only tRNA. A site has got second codon with two amino acids. Second codon with two amino acids. Are we clear? All of you. So, now what happens is the tRNA moves from the C5 end to the C3 end by one codon. TRNA moves by one codon. So TRNA pehle idhar tha, ab idhar a jata hai. Ek codon se move ho gaya. And that process is called as trans location translocation translocation also uses gtp as a source of energy translocation also uses gtp as a source of energy now if you tell me on translocation what will happen to the sites Sir, the sites will move uh, ahead. So, like a uh, a site per naya tRNA jayega, and uh, the AUG will go to the exit site. Okay. Where will AUG come now? E site. E site. Where will second codon GGG come now? P site. Uh, e site. And third codon say UUU corresponds to the A site. A site. A site. A site. So have you understood that E site has gone, old E site has gone out. Now UTR bar chala gaya. So this is old E site. Old E site. This. The old P site becomes the new E site. Old P site has become the new E site. The old A site has become the new P site. And there is a new A site. So, pehle TRNA idhar tha. Which was this site? E site. Eta E site. Ye tha P site or ye tha A site with UTR first second. Now on translocation, it has become first, second, third. So old E site to ribosome ke bar chala gaya. Old E site has gone out of ribosome. Now what is this site here? E site. P side. E side. E. The old P side has become the new E side. Old P side has become new E side. Old A side has become new P side. And there is a new A side. New A side. Hi, Anna. Someone may have the only dekhana. Everybody understood. Good. So this is the old P site. Old E site. The old P site has become the new E site. The old A site has become the new P site. And there is a new A site. So now what do we have at the E site? TRNA. With no amino acid. 
What do we have at the P site? tRNA with two amino acids because peptidyl transferase are transferred. And you have UUU as the third codon. So now what will happen? UUU third codon is red. And the third amino acid is activated, say which is phenylalanine. And it is delivered into the A site. So A site mein naya amino acid a jata hai. And you remember yaha tha tRNA. tRNA will exit from the E site. tRNA will exit from E site. And new tRNA enters into the A site. tRNA exits from E site. New tRNA enters in the A site. Have you understood this? So tRNA exit kaun se site se karta hai? E site. E site. E site. Where does new tRNA enter in the A site? A site. A site. And two amino acids join the third amino acid. Two amino acids join the third amino acid. Two amino acid join the third amino acid. Higher now. Which enzyme will do the transfer? Peptidyl transferase. Peptidyl transferase. Peptidyl transferase. Peptidyl transferase. Once again, ribosome shifts by one codon. So it was occupying first, second, third. Now it will occupy second, third, and fourth. It will occupy second, third, and fourth. So what will this side become? E side. E side. What will this side become? P side. P side. P side. What will this side, new side become? A side. A side. A side. A side. Correct. So, E side say tRNA will go out. tRNA exits from E side. tRNA exits from E side. And now the first codon is your second, third, fourth codon. So, your fourth codon is CCC. It will attract amino acid proline. Amino acid proline. So proline and then uh, phenylalanine and then glycine and then methionine. And who will do transfer of amino acid from P site to A site? Peptidyl transferase. Peptidyl transferase. And is there a golden words? Where will amino acid exit from? E site. E site. E site. E site. E. Where will new tRNA enter in the A side? A side. Where will peptidyl transferase transfer from? P side. P side to A side. From P side to A side. Higher now. Yes, sir. This process is called as translocation. So, ye hota hi jayega, hota hi jayega, and about 1000 codons are red. And a chain of 1,000 amino acids is formed. And then comes top codon. UAA or UAG or UGA. And as these three are read, message will be taken into the amino acid pool. But for UAA, UAG, UGA, there is no amino acid which is transferred. So, there is no amino acid transfer. And now in that region will come release factors R1, R2 and S. So, release factor naam ka chemical a jata hai which will release the amino acid chain. And that amino acid chain is called as a protein chain. So amino acid chain is released from the P site. P site's amino acid chain release ho jata hai. And how many amino acids in this? Approximately 1000 amino acids. Humne aad dikhaya hai. But in reality there are about 1000 amino acids. And 1000 amino acid ka ek protein ban jata hai. 
which is called as a polypeptide chain. Now, which was the start codon AUG? So, which is first amino acid methionine? A second codon was GGG. So, second amino acid is glycine. Third amino codon was UUU. So, third amino acid is phenylalanine. Fourth codon was uh, CCC. So, this is proline. Yad all of y'all? Now, I'm going to tell you the chart. So, AUG ke liye kaun hai? Methionine. Phir GGG ke liye kaun hai? Glycine. Nice. UUU ke liye kaun hai? Phenylalanine. Phenylalanine. CCC ke liye kaun hai? Proline. Similarly, amino acid, serine, 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 tryptophan, alanine, aspartic acid, glutamic acid, threonine, 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 again methionine, and uh, glycine, arginine, histidine, histidine, glycine, 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 serine, serine, serine. ऐसे करके एक हजार अमीनो एसिड का प्रोटीन बनता है। What is the cell called if you remember beta cell of islets of Langerhans of pancreas? So what is this chain and the sequence that I said is this chain is called as insulin. insulin. तो ये बन गया इंसुलिन which was made up of methionine peptide bond Glycine peptide bond, phenylalanine peptide bond, proline peptide bond. So, who forms insulin? Insulin is dependent on the sequence of codons. Sequence of codons will determine the sequence of amino acids in the insulin. By the way, who decided sequence of codons? Sequence of codons was decided by sequence of codons was decided by sequence of codo genes. Sequence of codon was decided by sequence of codo genes. So codo gene TAC tha, to ya aya AUG. Codo gene tha CCC, to ya aya GGG. So sequence of codo genes is determined by sequence of Codons is determined by sequence of codo genes. So, what is this structure called? This is insulin. This is the mRNA for insulin. And this is the DNA for insulin. This is the DNA for insulin. So, this is called as the gene for insulin. And gene number 11,111 as I said, hypothetically, is the gene for insulin. Similarly, if yaha you have AUG and yaha you have CCU, yaha you have UUA, oh, sorry, UUC, and this is say CCU, and this is GGC, or usse amino acid banta hai methionine peptide bond. Serine peptide bond, aspartic acid peptide bond, glutamic acid peptide bond, amino acid, amino acid, amino acid. So, this is say in the muscle cell, and muscle cell may ye sequence bana amino acid called as myosin. So, it's may myosin ban gaya. So myosin has got different sequence of codons which will form different sequence of amino acids to form a different protein. And that was decided by say gene number 2282. 2282 gene number 2282 in the muscle cells that gene underwent transcription to form an mRNA which underwent translation to form this sequence of amino acid which is myosin. So, I say 
ह्यूमन डीएनए के अंदर कितने जीन्स हैं थर्टी थाउजेंड जीन्स और थर्टी थाउजेंड जीन्स में डिफरेंट सीक्वेंस ऑफ कोडो जीन्स है उससे बनते हैं डिफरेंट सीक्वेंस ऑफ कोडोन्स और डिफरेंट सीक्वेंस ऑफ कोडोन से बनते हैं डिफरेंट सीक्वेंसेस ऑफ अमीनो एसिड्स टू फॉर्म केराटिन व्हिच इज हेयर कोलैजन व्हिच इज स्किन एक्टिन मायोसिन व्हिच इज मसल ऑसिन व्हिच इज बोन कॉन्ड्रिन व्हिच इज कार्टिलेज इंसुलिन ग्लूकागॉन एटसेट्रा व्हिच आर हार्मोन्स सिट्रेट सिंथेटेज एकोनिटेज इनोलेज decarboxylase etc which are enzymes so from head to toe all our structures are proteins all the enzymes are proteins all the hormones are proteins and everything is a different permutation combination of 20 types of amino acids which are all different permutation combination of different types of codons which are different permutation combination of different sequences of Coro genes on the DNA. Ah, समझ में आ रहा है ऑल ऑफ यू हैव यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड इट यस टूडे वी हैव डन अ रियली क्रुशियल टॉपिक आई होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस ऑल ऑफ यू परफेक्टली वेल चलो ग्रेट ओके सी ऑल टेक केयर बेटा बाय बाय Bye sir thank you Bye sir thank you sir